Hello, good morning, my loves. Um, yeah, first of all, I would like to say, of course, thank you to everyone who commented on my last videos. Uh, well, commented anyway in general, but also regarding um, Dexter. Um, Sparky is, I think she's doing okay. It's hard to know. Um, yeah, but she, she seems to be doing okay. She's eating. She's not really coming out that much, but then that isn't that unusual for her either. She did... Um, she's just been like sitting over. she's come out of the cage but sat on top of it but otherwise she's just been like hanging about in the doorway but as you know she does that anyway um, but I was hoping she would come out a bit more um, anyway the other day she came out for the first time and sat on my head which again as you will know if you've been watching for a while that is a place that she likes to sit she would sit on my head and Dexter would sit on my shoulder um, and that made me so happy in fact I actually cried a little bit because I was like oh because that was the first time she'd come out probably in almost two weeks since he since he passed away so yeah but I think she's doing okay um because I really didn't know what to do in terms of um they're not really meant to well they can be on their own they can but if you spend a lot of time with them but obviously we're at work full time sorry I'm so like snotty um we're both at work full time so um yeah, no one is in the house that much, so, but I didn't think if I get another one, I don't think if I get another bird, Nesca will accept it. I think Nesca, she's a hunting dog and she has worked as a hunting dog, um, hunting birds, um, but I think she's always accepted them because she lives, because they were there first. Um, I think if I brought another one into the house, she would show a bit too much interest, so that's a worry. Also, Sparky is a grumpy old bird. <laughs> so, although her and Dexter had a relationship, it wasn't it wasn't a lovey dovey one. <laughs> they, they always like to be near each other but not touching each other. Uh, so, they had a funny relationship. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. She seems to be doing okay. Um, yeah. So, anyway, it's about half past eight now. Um, I have come to the recycling. Although I haven't bought my actual recycling, which is annoying. Um, I brought clothes to the clothes bag. I had like six bags of clothes. So that was really good. That feels good to get them donated. There was some good stuff in there. I could have like sold it, but I just wanted rid, you know. you just like, no, I just want rid. So anyway, they'll find some nice homes. Um, but yeah, I forgot to bring like the normal recycling like that. So that's still in the kitchen. Never mind. Um... And then what I'm going to do now is go home. My hair's wet, by the way, not greasy. Well, a little bit damp. Just had a very, very quick shower this morning and came out straight away. And then what I'm going to do now is go home and I need to clean this car up. This car is utterly disgusting. Um, haven't, because it's, those of you who have dogs will understand when it's winter, it's just an absolute almost impossible job or it seems to me anyway I don't know you're probably better at life than I am but it feels impossible to keep on top of like keeping the house clean keeping the car clean everything just feels so grotty and then yeah this is this is like been really getting me down the state of my car so I'm gonna clean it it probably is pointless because the weather's still crap although really warm today it's it's still wet but I'm I'm actually boiling in my big jacket and hoodie um so yeah first things first I've done the clothes recycling I'm going to go and get some petrol in my car. I'm going to go home, uh, clean my car out, as in get all the rubbish out of it. Um, and I'm going to take the car mats into the house to wash them, I think. Then I think it'll be time to go and walk the dog and my mum. And then I'll go and hoover my car out. That's the plan. Let's see if this works out. It never bloody does in my case. Okay, there has been a teeny tiny change to the plans. It's about half nine now. My mum is running slightly behind schedule uh, because she woke up late and needs to take her painkillers before she can start the day or they need to kick in at least before she can start the day so i have come to the car hoover place there's just a guy in front um yeah it's okay it's okay <laughs> um so yeah anyway the guy just apologizing for using the hoover I'm like fine i'll be using it soon um so yeah i've come to do that and then i think i'm gonna wash my car on the outside after if i've got time um this car is 
so filthy i cannot wait to get it clean i have like cleaned it a little bit inside and got rid of the rubbish but yeah hoovering it um look at these seats they're absolutely disgusting aren't they um and i've got like an upholstery cleaner thing as well which i will do um yeah i do use car seat covers on my car but nesca just digs them up it doesn't matter if they're fitted ones or ones that go over she just digs them up so i'm full of cold by the way can you hear I've had it for about two weeks now since we got back on holiday and it is dragged on. There guys, left some time on the machine too. God love you, I hope I didn't make him hurry up. Yeah, done the inside of the car. Oh, that's so... Does that look grubby? Anyway, it doesn't in real life. It looks it looks good. Da, da, da. And now we've come to the... This car one. <laughs> I've come from here to here to do the outside of the car. She's getting a treat today. Full tank of petrol hoovered washed on the outside goodness me i've got my life together look at me grubby that looks like it's paint come off it isn't i don't know what it is moss i don't know anyway let's give her a good clean and there we go not perfect but she'll do she's better than she was Ta -da. Ta -da. we are out in the forest um i'm with my mum shep sully nessie and both girls phoebe and ivy uh, i have just said to ivy i said do you want to be on the vlog and uh, she said no and last week when i wasn't vlogging she wanted me to show her outfit oh here he is there he goes uh, so anyway she said no she's gone to just mess about in the stream down there and phoebe basically does whatever ivy does <laughs> what's going on here what's going on here Come on then, let's go. <laughs> what a girl. What a girl. Look at this seesaw. <laughs> go on, show us. Woo! Are you going to get on, babe? No. Uh, no? You don't want to? Katie, I want you to get on. Okay. Oh, she's on. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. yeah. These wild boys. Right then, I'm finally home. on time. It's it's like ten past. I think it's actually quarter past twelve. Um, I can't get in to put the light on. Hang on. Um, yes. Anyway, home from the walk. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to have some board eggs and toast soldiers. I think. I don't know if my eggs are in date oh they are wow um <laughs> that's good i was just gonna eat them anyway let's be honest um yeah so i'm gonna have some eggs and toast soldiers and then what i wanted to do whether i'm gonna get round to it is i want to my whole house just feels grotty and grim and disgusting um so i want to start deep cleaning each room um, so today I wanted to start on the living room as in when I say deep clean I mean like pull the tv unit out because that's just full of dog hair down there and like dust all the stuff that never gets dusted like you know hidden away stuff pull the couch out all that kind of stuff uh, so I thought if I do the living room first as in today then that's the like I feel like that's probably the easiest room the smallest room hello Sparky it's my bedroom really is the main one, but I'm going to wait till probably next week to do that, maybe. Right, anyway, let's make some eggs. Hello, my loves. Um, so it is now quite a bit later. It's about six o'clock, I think. Um, did I deep clean the living room? Bless your guesses absolutely not of course i didn't <laughs> is that a surprise to any of you no i'm sure not um but what i did do was gave myself a pedicure and i did do like general tidying up in the house which was good um just wondering what that is this is um some bird toys that i got amazon a pack of bird toys but um <laughs> sorry i've totally been distracted yeah i got this these off Amazon, um, I don't know, last week, whatever. And then realised that I actually had a load of bird toys that I got ages ago and never actually put in their cage. So there was loads of new toys. So there we go. Don't need to buy any new toys for a while. 
what I'm, what was I saying? Gave myself a pedicure, did the general tidying up and had a bath uh, and did my fake tan. So there we go. Successfully avoided doing what I wanted to do or what I have been putting off doing for ages. Anywho, the plan now is, um, what is the plan? I, Bob's had a bit of a, a tough day at work today. So I am going to go and deliver him a chippy tea and a cuddle to his house. So that's what I'm doing. Don't know where Matt is. He must be working late. I've tried texting him, but no answer. So he must be working late. Oh, I cannot tell you. Oh, that's a bit, um, where are you? Um, bit emo, isn't it? Yeah, I cannot tell you how good it feels to get into a clean car. And you know, like, probably the majority of you do that every time you get into a car, but not me. Not as usually covered in dog hair, so. Oh, that's nice. It's pouring down now. Of course it is, and I've got, like, really long, flared yoga pants on. I don't know if that's, um, I don't know what else to call them. Do we call them yoga pants? I don't know. Right, I've been and got the goods. Secured. Shall I tell you our order? Are you interested? We always get the same. We get uh, one fish and chips to share, two pots of curry sauce. Uh, I've got a bread bun. Bob normally does do so I did not do this time. I got him a Diet Coke, because that's the only diet stuff they have. And I got me a shandy. Let's go eat. Good morning, my loves. Uh, so it's about half past eight, because I've been a wee. Um, I don't know if I said yesterday, but I'm actually working today. Rubbish. I'm only doing 10 till 3 though, so that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to bring Nesca out now for half an hour. And then my mum's going to come on walker this afternoon. I don't know, probably about half 12 or something for an hour or so. And then I'll be finishing at 3, so that'll, that'll work out quite well, I don't really think I'd go to work, but extra pennies in it. I'm just covering because someone's on holiday, so. What a lovely day. I'm kind of glad I didn't deep clean the living room yesterday because she's just going to go home and make it dirty and stinking again, isn't she? Hello, little ones. Hello, little ones. Hello. Hello, darlings. Oh, look at these guys. Oh. Gorgeous, aren't you? A bit wet. There's another one over in this field. Don't know why that one's on its own. And then there's some more in another field back that we can't see. Cute. Right, well it is quarter to ten and I cannot tell you how much I do not want to go to work today. Here's Sparky by the way. Hello girl. Are you coming to say hello? No, she's doing the opposite. Anyway, yes, I cannot tell you how much I do not want to go to work, but let's get it done. I'm finishing at three. It's five hours. I can do it. It is fully booked. It's absolutely crazy busy at the moment, uh, which is good. I'm not complaining. Um, well, I kind of am, but I'm not. Do you know what I mean? It's good to be busy. Absolutely, it is. Um, but I just can't be asked. I can't be asked. Can you be asked, Ness? Nah. Nanny's coming soon. Right, off I go in the rain. Hello my dears, I'm home from work now. Let's bop you up there, shall we? Yeah, I'm home from work. Time is 20 past three. Oh, it's been a busy old, it's been a busy old couple of weeks to be honest, so what am I talking about? But anyway, I'm home. I feel really tired for some reason. I don't think I slept the best last night. Um, yeah, so I've just got in and my mum was meant to <laughs> come and walk Nesca and drop her off home, but um, she said she couldn't bring herself to leave her on her own, although she's absolutely bad on her own. Um, so my mum's taken her to her house, so the dog is not here. So my dad will be dropping her off later. Um, I did nip to boots after work, do a little haul, a very teeny tiny haul. Just got some dry shampoo, I don't know what that's like, it was on sale though, so we'll try it. And then I got um, this. This is what I always use, Intelligent Colour Foundation in light. I did get this not so long ago. I haven't anywhere near used it all, but I got fair by accident, which is fine. I've got it on now. It's not, you know, because it's, well, it's called Intelligent Colour. It's meant to, like, adapt to your skin tone. Um, but I do find that this colour is slightly better for me. So I got that. It was three for two. 
Uh, I needed concealer, that's what I needed. This is a um, Dark Circles concealer. And then because it was three, to three for two, I got um, a tinted moisturiser. Don't know what that's like. I imagine it's similar to that, to be honest, because that's very sheer. Um, but there we go. I got that as well. So, right. I don't know why I feel so tired. I'm even thinking of having a coffee, and I don't know if I drink coffee at this time of day. <sighs> right, let's back you up a little bit. Um, and I am going to watch the rest of my first sight. I've got about half, half of last night's episode to watch, so I'm going to do that. Hello, good morning. Just on my way to work, it's about 20 to 8. Um, I use that new. Uh, tinted moisturiser this morning. I think it's alright actually. And it, well, it seemed very similar to the Intelligent Colour Foundation that I used, so maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I'd say now because after work I was bedraggled anyway. Hello my dears, I'm home from work. The time is 10 past 4. Um, got out in good time today because my second to last client cancelled, so I called my last client and said, any chance you could come in a bit earlier and they could so that was good and helpful um so yeah i am um, oh this is the uh still got obviously i've still got the tinted moisturizer on didn't take it off halfway through the day but i think that's all right actually i quite like it anywho um it is pouring down outside though uh, i'm going out tonight me and bob are going to see a band at a pub um so what i'm going to do now is sparky no, she's not out, but her cage is open, so I'm going to give her an hour, or whatever. Um, I'm going to have a shower here, but then I'm going to go and get ready at his house. So I'll shower here, dry my hair, but I'll style my hair, do my makeup and get dressed at his. Do you care? Absolutely not. Anyway, I went to Moods after work to get some stuff for tea. I'm trying to take my shoes off if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, so, for tea, we're going to have chicken. Got a whole rotisserie chicken. Uh, he's got potatoes at his and cucumber and stuff and onion. So I got some tomatoes and lettuce. So we're going to have chicken salad and potatoes uh, and some butter. It's not butter, you know what I mean. Um, I also got some bread buns for the leftover chicken to make sandwiches tomorrow uh, or Monday, whatever. Some milk for brews in the morning and some tea cakes for the morning you love a tea cake do you uh, and then i also got some alcoholic beverages these are on some kind of offer so i got four raspberry mojitos and two normal mojitos um they're for pre-drinks but as i say the weather out there is at the minute horrendous it's i thought it was going to dry up this afternoon so if it remains like this i think what i'm going to do is just drive us to the pub leave my car there overnight get a taxi back or walk back whatever uh, if the weather does clear up, then I'll have a couple of drinks before we go out. Oh, just remember Bob's insured on my car. Maybe I'll just have some drinks before I go out and Bob can drive us up. Anyway, whatever happens, that's the plan for this evening. So I'm going to just sit with Sparky for a little bit now. I really fancy one of these right now, to be honest. But I do have to drive to Bob's, so that is out of the question right now. This bloody bike. Um... Saying. Yeah, I'm gonna sit with Sparky for a bit, chill out, and then I'm gonna go and have a bath. Pack my bag and go to Stock House tomorrow. Bob might be coming for the first time if the weather's good. I hope it is, because I really want him to like it, but I don't think he will. Um but yeah, only if the weather's good, because if the weather's horrible, then he's gonna hate it regardless, isn't he? So yeah, so I need to pack stuff for tomorrow, so I need to think think about what I'm taking with me. And we are ready to go out. Um, I did decide to start drinking, so that means we're walking. And basically, the band starts in about five minutes, and we are a twenty-minute walk away. I'm on a wicker chair. Can you hear that? I'm in Bob's spare room, by the way. Um, so yeah, we better set off. Really, I'm kind of wishing now I hadn't started drinking and I had driven, but oh well. Good morning. Oh, I'm on the rickety chair again. Good morning. Um, yeah, went out last night, had a good time. It was good. Band were good. Um, don't know what time I got home, probably about midnight, I would say. 
Anyway, we've got a stock house today and Bob's coming with me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really want him to like it. I don't think he's going to like it though. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just now, so last night when I arrived here, um, someone was parked over Bob's drive, uh, which that happens sometimes. Anyway, his next door neighbour said before that I can park on her drive because she don't have a car, which is what I did. Um, but then obviously she's now got a visitor who's blocked me in across their drive, which fair enough because where else we've got to go. So I've got to go and knock on the door and ask them to move it and I just feel like such a, like, because I parked on her drive, like, oh, I hate doing it anyway, I hate it. Bob always told me to just do it, he's like, she says it's fine, she never physically said it to me though. So I just feel a bit like, Mer. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm on my way to work, of course. Let's put my bag on. Um, but yeah, I realised I didn't film yesterday. I don't even think I filmed any of the racing yesterday. Well, I know I didn't. So if there is any film, any clips of that inserted, that was Bob that took them. So, um, but yeah, we had a good day. And Bob enjoyed it. Yay! I'm so glad he liked it. Um, I don't know if he'll be coming to every meeting. I very much doubt it. Uh, we did get a lot of... Sorry, I'm just going to have to put it there while I zip my coat up. Uh, we did get a lot of grit in our eyes and still have it in our eyes. That wasn't uh, that wasn't very good, but there we go, that happens. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Absolutely knackered for some reason, even though I fell asleep about half past nine last night. But I feel really, really tired. I'm dreading today because I am fully booked, which is fine. I'm booked from like nine till half six. Um... But I'm on my own, and the trouble with that is, um, it's when the phone's ringing and the phone always goes mental on a Monday morning. Because people are starting their lives out on a Monday, aren't they? So, yeah, if you're just cutting hair, absolutely fine. It's the dealing with everything else that makes it not so fine. Right. But anyway, I'm going to go. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you've had a good week, and I shall see you next week. 